Do you feel rich right now? Are you feeling flush with cash? Paying rent? Easy. Getting your own place? Complete it, mate. Feeding your kids? Not a problem. Or have things been the hardest they've been your entire life and you're desperate for things to get better? For something to be done about it. But let's be practical. The government can't simply end the war in Ukraine and the effects that's having on the economy. It can't undo the long-lasting effects of COVID. But what could the government do to drastically improve the state of the UK economy? They've already admitted it. Being in the single market is not the same as being in the EU. And would membership of the single market be something that would boost growth and change our current economic outlook? Unfettered trade with our neighbours and countries all over the world is very beneficial to growth. Uh, I don't think it's the right way to boost growth because it would be against what people were voting for when they supported Brexit. And you're probably thinking, but what about the referendum? Let me say this clearly for you. I don't give a single solitary fuck about the politics of the 2010s. I only care about people now, in 2023, who are experiencing the worst poverty crisis since 1956. Because if we can't even afford food, we definitely can't afford Brexit. Which is why I'll be coming down to London on the 23rd of September, because I'm going to be speaking here. Or more precisely, here, at the second National Rejoin March. And the message is simple, we can't afford Brexit. Because for once, we can all actually agree with Nigel Farage. Is we haven't actually benefited from Brexit economically. Brexit has failed. And that's why thousands of people will be protesting outside Parliament on the 23rd of September. Because we need to let these pricks, and especially these pricks, know that we know that they're choosing to hurt us. That UK voters will not accept politicians who refuse to pull every lever available to them to help us out of this poverty crisis. And ending a policy that's costing every household a thousand pounds a year is a pretty big lever. But if you've been paying attention, you know this isn't my first rodeo, you know this isn't the first anti-Brexit protest march, and yet Brexit still very much going ahead. So why should you bother to show up to this one? Because everything I've said today is obvious. Any rational discussion of the effects that Brexit is having on people leads to the obvious conclusion that it has to be reversed as soon as possible. So the more that people talk about Brexit, the faster it gets reversed and the less poverty we have to deal with. Which is why we have to make the politicians, and them, talk about it. And hundreds of thousands of people marching in the street tends to have that effect. And yeah, sure, rejoining the EU fully will take years, but rejoining the EU single market, the economic part, that'll take months. So when that Saturday, the 23rd of September comes around, you can keep complaining about how hard life is in the UK, or you can come do something about it. Up to you.